Hello, I'm Cameron Reichert, Vice President of Customer Success at Nexa. I'm here today to help you learn how to manage the Nexa Insights on-call calendar. While our customer success team is always happy to help you configure your calendar, it's easier than ever for you to set up your own scheduling. Here are a few benefits to managing the on-call calendar yourself. You can manage live updates as they happen. You can schedule in advance. It saves you time. You can always stay in the loop. You can handle emergency dispatch and on-call employee. You have more after hours control. All of that sounds good, but how exactly do you get started managing your own on-call calendar? Let's walk through the steps. First, contact your account specialist to enable on-call calendar and obtain credentials. You won't be able to set up your calendar without your account specialist, so make sure to let us know you're interested. Your account specialist will configure your calendar based on your specific business needs. Now let's log in to the Nexa Insights portal. Go to your dashboard, click on Accounts, and go to the On-Call Calendar. Here is your On-Call Calendar in a full month view. Now let's go ahead and create a new On-Call Entry. To add an entry, click Create On-Call Entry button or click on the date. Select the appropriate category. Select the correct shift time. Choose the correct employee and then choose the start and end time. If you're using a predefined shift, it will auto-populate the start and end time for you. Double check the end time to verify it's correct. Now you can go ahead and edit the on-call display order as desired. If multiple people will be on call, adjust the ranking accordingly, such as an on-call, a backup, or a manager. You can also use the copy feature to create new shifts for additional contacts, or use the copy feature to copy the same shift to a different date range. Here's the full month completed. Now let's go ahead and update an existing on-call entry. To change the entire shift, click on an existing entry and complete the necessary modifications and then press the Save button. If you wish to modify only part of an existing entry, such as applying coverage for a couple of hours instead of revising the entire shift, you'll simply use the Plus Coverage button. Complete the Coverage slot section and Save. You'll want to complete the reason, select the on-call employee, and select the new start and end time. The temporary coverage assignment will display underneath the existing entry. A couple of other important reminders. Administrative permissions can be assigned by user, such as view only versus full edit permissions. You can use the until further notice button to put an employee on call indefinitely. And remember the contacts tab refers to callers, not users. The callers are your callers and users are your team members. If you need to add an on-call employee, contact us at customersuccess at nexa.com. Thank you for taking the time to learn about how to manage your Nexa Insights on-call calendar.